I'm Megan, and this is my husband, Bo, and our daughter, Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, here goes nothing. We're gonna start framing the upstairs. We got the floor done, cut. That's what it looks like. It's pretty exciting. We're gonna start with the big uh, partition wall here that goes between the house and the shop <clears throat> and see how far we get today. warm up here isn't it i think it's fine like i'm not cold I'm not hot i mean i'm sure i'll probably get hot the air's getting through that little hole right there it's crazy how much it's pushing yeah. <laughs> like balloons thermal sail mm -hmm. <laughs> what time is it kind of nice this, the sun Comes in, it's 2 220 right now. We'll get some afternoon sun into the home, get a little <coughs> passive heat. It's the first time I've been up here this time of day. As soon as this bread's done, there's no more pellets left. I, I was. I got a notification. I was like, man, my girls f***ed up. Like, uh, Your girls reach 450 degrees. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's cooking. But the bread's almost finished. It's It'll stay pretty warm in there for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> I just didn't know. If I, I had to use the little probe to push them down into the hole because they were just like up the thing. Oh yeah. I love the copper. Yeah. It looks like the sun right here. You know what I was thinking? We could probably make a copper hood. For the kitchen. I priced them out last night. They're like... $1, Ridiculous, $1. yeah. Copper is expensive. But I could get thin copper. <clears throat> Just make an angular modern look. Like we could find one we like. I bet we could make it. Alright. We start... Crown and boards, and we'll start whacking them down. <laughs> Most of those trees are coming down anyway. We're gonna lose a lot right there. Yeah. 
and you'll have a good view. There's my two favorite trees. I know. All right. You ready to squat, lift, pull, straight? Let's see your trick. This thing, where you make the upstairs the brackets that all of those beams sit on hang lower than what the the height of the walls so every single stud that we put up for the second story needs to be cut <sighs> big pain in the so we're kind of at a standstill and unfortunately Bo doesn't think it's something that I can fix <laughs> on my own so I am going to work on a few little loose end projects that we need to get done. Um, we got the boiler totally hooked up and the exhaust, the intake and the um, intake and outtake are both piped in, but they need screens put on so then that way uh, bugs and birds and stuff don't get in, just like a dryer vent that has a little cover. That needs to be done. I'm gonna clean 
I'm gonna clean up this construction zone and I know it's a construction site and I clean it, but it's driving me bonkers and there's scrap wood everywhere and it's just a nightmare. So I'm gonna clean it, get us organized, uh, make sure tools are where they're supposed to, supposed to be, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna clean the shop portion too. We are living over there. Oh, past the heater here. We are living over here, so it's kinda nice to keep it a little bit cleaner. Um, we did finally get our Christmas tree out, but I'm just gonna try to get it a little bit in organized again. We have all the tubing for our flooring still out. Um, the boiler room's a mess from Bo getting that all hooked up, so I'll get that cleaned up. Um, yeah, look at this mess he's got going on in here. So, and oh, I need to get all of the two by fours and two by sixes for the rest of the framing for upstairs. They're on the other side of the camper in the shop. We brought them in so they can dry out. Um, but I need to get all of that upstairs and it's just me. So I'm gonna have to use the scissor lift because it's gonna be, yesterday we were just passing them. I was down here handing them up to Bo, but since it's just me, I have to get that done myself. I need to reattach the Tyvek where we we're using the hole in the wall so we're not losing too much heat. Um, and then what else did I need to do? Oh, I'm gonna get our razor parked in the garage once I get all that wood moved too. That way it's out of the elements. So here we are. Big to-do list for the week while dad's gone even though I can't be framing. And I'm gonna try and convince my super nice neighbor, Bill, who you've seen in previous episodes, to come over and help me fix that wall and hopefully surprise Bo when he gets back. So we'll see. Sandwich cleaning, we can get done. We got the wall standing. I fixed the whole thing yesterday, and now it's up. Super excited.